Eager to be where the wild things are, some conservationists are designing homes that are literally in the animal's backyard. On Sarasota Bay's Siesta Key, Gail Morrison and her husband Joel Morganroth bought their home for $2.5 million. It's known locally as the Dolphin House for the bottlenose dolphins who leap from the water to catch fish at the seawall in front of their deck. The home occupies a prime spot on a lagoon where dolphins, pelicans, and herons have fed for decades. In Jackson, Wyoming, Kirk Davenport built a vacation home on 16 wooded acres populated with moose, elk, and bears. He can see wildlife from an elevated bridge that connects the main house with its guest wing, or he can climb to the top of a 30-foot-high lookout tower. In Washington's King County, Richard Farmer built a home on five rustic acres. It's set on the edge of a forest next to a meadow, a prime convergence point for many bird species. There are three terraces, and an elevated walkway 15 feet above the garden functions as a viewing platform. A long pool of trickling rainwater has small pedestals a half inch below the surface for birds to perch and bathe. In Santa Cruz, California, Erica Zavaleta and Bernie Tershi built a bird-friendly house using straw bales for insulation and non-toxic building materials. The house, which cost about $770,000 to build, is bordered by a park and a small creek just two blocks from the ocean. Windows are set high near the ceiling in some rooms to look directly into the tree canopy in the park and to see birds flying overhead. Architects are creating living spaces that give homeowners the chance to get up close and personal with everything from birds of prey to big game.